Hey everybody, it's Savvy This Summer and welcome back to another video. And so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a save file overview. Typically, I do really in-depth reviews of save files, but for this one, it's going to be a little bit different. This is a save file that I've been playing in for, I don't know, maybe like four, four or five-ish months now. This is the save file that honestly made me fall back in love with my game again. Back in like November, December time frame, I started to like not really enjoy my game like i feel like every simmer kind of goes into that they kind of get into like a simmer slump you know like you've been playing the game for so long or like you just need something new something to like refresh your game something to be excited about you know what i mean so this save file i don't know if you guys have ever heard of it some of you guys may have um i feel like it's been around for a little while i can't remember how new it is or like how long it's been around but it is the sweetie right save file but i just want to go over it with you guys um those of you that have never seen it before or just want another refresher but one of the reasons why i fell in love with this save file is the lots and just some of the households some of the households are very simple so you probably will have to go in and like get them makeovers and stuff which i was fine with like this one here you know these sims look pretty simple of course you know i have a lot of mods and cc so i'm gonna go in and of course i'm going to like you know make sure these people are reflecting how i want them to look so that was also a really fun thing for me to play with with these sims so like this sim here she is actually the girlfriend or ex-girlfriend i should say of my current um household's dad um so this is my current household save file and i have so many sims in here that i've redone but there's still a lot that i haven't but the main thing is I what I really enjoy about the save file is just the cohesiveness of each world. So like, for example, like Willow Creek, it looks like it has a theme, right? Like very like modern and like, you know, over here would be more of like the traditional homes and over here is like the more of like modern, you know, it just feels kind of like coastally in a way. Um, and then if we go over to Oasis Springs, so here is more of like the modern section over here. And then over here is like the, you know, kind of Spanish bungalow feel. So everything's very cohesive and I really like that. And there's a ton of families in here. This is actually the boyfriend of one of the daughters in my current household. So I'm just going to read you this bio and just give you like a little bit of an idea of how cute some of these households are. So this one says Tony met Jody at a widow widower support group and he was immediately smitten. After several dates and lots of time for the kids to mourn their mother, he introduced Jody to Anthony and Samantha. They got along great and Jody was supportive of their, of their feelings. Now they're all happy and living in Oasis Springs. So, I mean, just that lore in general is so cute. So here's Jody, um, the stepmom, and then here is Anthony. Again, this is a the boyfriend. This is one of the boyfriends of my current households. Um, yeah. And then here, kids. Um, so yeah, there's just big old family and i never played with them before ever but i know this family because of the kid here and it's just i like that they have their backstory so it's just nice like one of those like small simple things over here we have a restaurant and i love the layout one of the things about this safe file is like i mentioned i love the lots but the households are also very simple and everything's like very clean and everything kind of flows together we have a cafe over here we have a gym we have a juice and bowling alley as well as another restaurant and then over here is a community center so one of the main things when i'm looking for a save file to play myself then also review to share with everyone else so then that way more simmers find save files is i like to look for lots of lots <laughs> lots of lots lots of community lots and lots of things to do for my sims because let's be real the sims can get really boring if there isn't a lot for them to do so that's one of the things i love about this save file like there's just so much like even right here in the community center you know there's gardening there's a big basketball section there's just lots of stuff to do and i will definitely show you guys some of the lots in a little bit but i just wanted to show you guys an overview so here is newcrest so again just very like cookie cutter kind of american style but it just feels again very cohesive and we have a shopping center in here we have a vet clinic we have a library so lots of places for your sims to story tell as well while you're playing over here we have a wellness center and look in the back there's a basketball court so it just feels like a little neighborhood and i really love that you know then over here we have an actual neighborhood section and there's a new crest pool over here and this is more of like the modern you know wealthy area and then over here is more of like the more traditional homes in the back and then this is like our little shopping strip which 
again it just flows so good and then over in magnolia promenade we had this huge roller ball so this place is super cool i'll show you that later and then we have a basketball court in here another coffee shop and then as well as a boutique too i'm telling you this safe is so good for your sims and i love how realistic it is and the fact that there's just so much to do for my sims this pool in Windenburg I've loved going to recently. My current household lives over here. I need to give you guys an update. I really, really do. Um, I'm going to save that though because you guys are going to be like, what? And then over here is the, um, we have a lighthouse over here that's been renovated. And then it's just modern. Like everything's nice and modern on this island over here. And then this neighborhood over here is very cohesive as well. This like little neighborhood with the houses except for mine, which is random. <laughs> and then there is the estate in the back. So a lot of these... Um, you know are still similar to like their lot types but they've been obviously very updated and then we have a museum in here a spa a gym a restaurant so sweetie wright did not skip out on the lots like she definitely kept all of that in mind which i totally appreciate we have this rooftop um garden restaurant as well i love going here it's so pretty you still have the water as well up here like in the um main one so your sims can go swimming if they want it's just such a good save file it honestly is and then we have a spa over here which again i love the spa is so so good we have a restaurant over here and then as well as a cafe and then we still have an art center too but that's been updated so moving on over to san sequoia everything has been changed as well it's a lot more fun and vibrant if you're ask if you ask me here we have a library over here we also have a neighborhood we also have a household over here there's a restaurant called the catch of the day which fits perfectly in san sequoia being a um, coastal water town city whatever you want to call it and then there's a shopping mall over here there's lots of shopping and retail in the save and i absolutely love that and then over here we do have a celebration center which again has been updated but it's more of like a park center so nice lots of stuff for your sims to do so here's a household over here. I probably would do some makeovers. Obviously, we have some clothes missing because I don't have those packs. Why have a baby or four the natural way when science babies exist? Scientist and great-grandson of Adam Beaker. Leaf and his wife, Zuri, and a scientist are the first in San Sequoia to not have but one but all four of their babies through science. With very little recovery time after giving birth, they want the world to know about the new way to reproduce they have helped to create. I would probably update them into like more scientist like looking um, vibes in my opinion. Um, I mean, that's just me because like I like to do a lot of makeovers, but if you're not a makeover person, like it doesn't matter. But I don't know. I just think that backstory is super cute. And yeah, they have, literally have four kids. They probably could have more. Um, but yeah, they're all science babies. So it's kind of funny like i love that lore so apparently i've uh kept um, neighborhood stories on and my i let my sims be able to adopt i'm not gonna let that happen again so i turned that off um also just a little tip if you ever need to do that just go to um adopt horses and adopt cats and dogs just turn that off or your sims are gonna end up having a crap ton of animals in their household like that one they have so many cats you guys oh my gosh it says with the rambunctious sons and equal rambunctious husband eden is drowning in a sea of testosterone she's no delicate flower and can keep up with most of them um it says eden has always wanted to wanted a daughter but with tm i'm not sure what tm is supposed to mean getting ready for university can she convince daris to have another baby okay so here's daris her husband and then um eden is here and she wants another baby but i don't know what tm is supposed to mean what is that supposed to mean you guys i'm not sure but um yeah let me know what you guys think i'm not sure about that but she wants to expand the family i think we need to probably rehome these cats before we expand more on the family but yeah that could be fun to play out for sure okay and so for this family the martinez family they live right over here in this lot and it says Raphael has been married before and has a daughter anastasia he later married colette and has lewis and lena colette and anastasia don't really get along too well because anastasia loves pranking people and colette doesn't like pranks at all can Raphael help them find common ground so this is Raphael's daughter and then this is his new wife colette so it sounds like um they're kind of like having a clashing personalities here so i do think that would be fun to play out um and kind of see how that goes see if their relationship could get better or if it could get you know if it just i don't know continues to tank we'll have to see but that's another cute family to play out as well oh my gosh you guys this is what i'm talking about turn off your neighborhood stories <laughs> so many animals 
Talia was left at the altar by the love of her life, Philip. It turns out she wasn't the love of his life. Now single and living with her parents, Talia wonders if she'll ever find love again. So this is Talia here and she's family oriented, she's romantic and loves art. So she definitely wants to find the love of her life and create a family. Okay, here is another story that I love and I couldn't find Marissa in this save file. Let me know if you download the save file and you're able to find Marissa because I was not. So here is their backstory. It says, Emerson has it all, a beautiful wife, a beautiful son, and a successful career. What more can a man ask for? Well, apparently a mistress. <laughs> Emerson has been seeing Marissa for nearly two years. Sadly, Elizabeth is completely oblivious to her husband's extramarital affairs. She would be crushed if she knew the truth. Will she ever find out? So again, I could never find Marissa and that relationship wasn't in... Um, the save file like in his relationship panel didn't show anyone named by marissa um so i was a little disappointed by that but i don't know if it's i don't know a corruption of my save file or like something didn't transfer over i don't know i don't know what happened but i guess if you really wanted to you could like have some fun and like just create a marissa like in your own sim style and then add her to the save file make them like be boyfriend and girlfriend and like just play out like a hot steamy affair i don't know totally up to you guys but that's probably what i'm gonna do now that i am like pulling this up right now but yeah and they also have a dog named peanut butter isn't that cute <laughs> and this is oliver by the way i'm pretty sure oliver um tried to be friends with one of my daughters in my current save in my current household save and also all the lots have been updated in here too there is a wedding venue on this little island over here and then on the beach there's also another wedding venue too and the like little lounge nightclub over here has been renovated thank god because the one before i did not like so now we're in hanford on bagley and i personally prefer the way sweetie did this save file section because there's normally like a house over here. I can't remember if it's this lot or like this one over here, but it makes more sense to me to have this section to be for the businesses. So that's what they did. So we still have the gnomes arms over here, but it looks more up to date. Then we have an antique shop as well, a bookstore. And then over here we have an art supply store. So lots of stuff for your Sims to do. And I think that's so cute. And then we also have a park over here which i think that was the original park but it looks like it's been renovated i'm telling you guys look at all these animals <laughs> look at all these animals this is so bad i i gotta fix that i need to go back in because i'm sure it's probably bogging down my save file oh my god this one here says while most see foxes as pests who like to steal chickens and rabbits the whitley family sees them as misunderstood sweethearts with this in mind they decided to open their home to their bushy-tailed friends at last count they had four living foxes and many wild friends who seek refuge in the wild open fields of the Whitley family farm. Okay, so these foxes, um, they are actually supposed to be foxes. That makes more sense now. Um, so these are dogs, as you can see, but they're supposed to be foxes, I, which I think is really cute, but they basically just changed them to look like foxes for storytelling purposes, but I was confused because I thought that was because of my neighborhood stories, but it's actually the fact that they added them in there, so that's cool. But they do have a bunch of other animals too, so yeah, big, big family. In Copperdale, everything has been renovated as well. I like to go over to this park over here, which is actually right beside my current household's house. Um, so here's Marley with her family. She has her three sons living with her currently. Um, this isn't a current household update, so I'll do that in another video very, very soon. Um, probably this week or next but anyways here's marley and she lives right beside this park um i love copperdale um now i used to not really like it but the more that i've played in the save file with my current household i, I really appreciate it current save file especially because it just feels more alive so we have this park over here and then we have a wompy's diner and then we also have a new thrift store bubble tea store we still have the library but it's been updated it's a lot more fun and of course we have the pier that comes with the world but everything just is very cohesive with the theme of the homes. Again, I appreciate that. And it just feels like everything flows together really nicely. And she also updated the school too. So it looks really nice. And Mount Kabarabi, this is more of the traditional style of their homes that they have here when you originally get the save file. And then over here is the more like modernized section, um, which again, I love it. I think it looks so good. But there's lots of new families in here. This one is really cute. We have a restaurant over here. We also have a little park as well. We have a vacation rental. We have the bathhouse as well, which is still there. And these are two rentals too. 
over in Evergreen Harbor, we have a community space over here. I like this spot. It definitely has things for your sims to do. And then we have another community space, which is more of like the eco lifestyle pack. So it's kind of run down and kind of like gritty. And then there is a little red caboose restaurant over here in the very back. So your sims can go there and eat. And there's another community space as well. So we have three community spaces in here. I would maybe even add another restaurant if you wanted to. Sulani also looks completely different as well. And I love everything that she's done to it, to be honest with you. Everything is so beautiful. Here we have Sulani National Park. And this park is so pretty. I'll definitely show you guys that in a few minutes. And then the beach has been updated. It just feels a lot more alive. And then we have a restaurant, the Lagoon Look Restaurant. Then we have a vet clinic too. So I don't really see vet clinics very often in Sulani, so I love that. Then we have the sandbar too. And all of these households over here are filled up with homes, with lore. And then there's even another beach over here too. So surprisingly, there's no rental lots in here. All of these are filled up rental. All of these are filled up households with backstories. Next up on the list is Burleson Bay. And the lots in Burleson Bay are so, so good. I love them and I love playing in the safe owl and going to Brindleton Bay. So over here we have this really beautiful Brindleton Bay barn or the Brindle Brindleton barn. And I actually had my Sim Marley get married here and it's just a really pretty rustic barn. It's beautiful. I love it. It's so good for a wedding venue. And then over here we have a family park. So lots of activities for your Sims to do, of course. We have a coffee shop, which this is normally the Salty Paws restaurant, but they did change it to a coffee shop and it's a cat hangout too so your sense will probably see lots of cats and then over here we have the rustic sales seafood company restaurant and then there's a gym we have a library and we also have a shopping center and then we have three houses back here okay so moving over to dulso valley it is completely different as well and everything's been renovated too so we have the crooked table which is a restaurant we have a gym called the pectoral fitness then we have a museum obviously it's the original one that came with the game but it's been renovated and it looks so much better let me tell you so much better then we have a theater which is a lounge and there's also the wood the ward park as well too we also have this family over here that i want to play with um it's actually a sibling household they actually are supposed to be in copperdale but they ended up moving here with the neighborhood stories but i kind of feel like this may be fitting for them i don't know maybe they just vibe better in Dulso. It says, with their mom walking out on them and their dad passing away from an illness, Stacy being a single mom, Carly and Stacy's lives have been anything but perfect. Now they live in the family's home and Stacy is juggling work and a rambunctious toddler. Carly is just trying to make it through high school and despite her misfortunes, Carly keeps a positive attitude due in part to her best friend, Brian Hartman. Okay, so here's Stacy here. She is um, a young adult, so her toddler is this toddler but clearly their child now so they have grown up and then this is her younger sister i wonder if she's still yeah so she's still a teen so stacy's a single parent to this child here they're now a child and then carly so they're all like living together taking care of each other so i like that story now we're back in st machino and i just want to show you guys some of the households and you guys can read a little bit more about their bios so here we have tess she moved from brittleton bay to st machino to pursue her dream of becoming a famous musician with the bustling streets, this is the perfect place to busk for tips and hopefully get discovered by a record label. Can Tess make her dreams come true or will she have to move back to Burlington Bay? I think Tess has the cutest vibe. I love her style, but I would probably update her in my own like sim self style, but I love her. I think she's so cute. And then uh, her apartment looks adorable too. Then across from her, is her neighbor and her neighbor's name is Kayla Gray. Kayla is a bookworm who loves a good romance novel. She loves the idea of finding someone who makes her heart skip a beat, someone who makes her breathless. Is there a guy out there for Kayla or is she just or are they just in the book she reads? That is so funny to me guys because I just started reading again and I feel like that's so true. Like there's nothing like a like fantasy book boyfriend, <laughs> you know, or a book girlfriend I should say, but yeah, that's funny. I wanted to show you guys this absolutely beautiful rooftop restaurant in San Machino. I love this restaurant so much and it's just so elegant. I love the style of it. At the top here, it just has this really pretty like seating area with a bar. I, I just love everything that she used in order to make this. It's such a beautiful lot. Like, is this not gorgeous, you guys? Like, it is so beautiful. I want to come here in real life. Next up on the list is this karaoke bar here. It's actually on the bottom level. 
But what I really like about what Sweetie did here is that she used a like deco feature here and made it seem like it was like an actual city building, which I really think is super cute. So in the karaoke bar, I like how there's a bunch of tables in here. It just feels like a like little nightclub. And I know I've said it before, but I really love how simple she builds. Like everything is just very cohesive and simple and like her builds aren't very cluttered, if that makes sense. Like, you know what I mean? Like people can walk through here or our Sims, I should say. <laughs> our Sims can walk through here really well. And, you know, things aren't super cluttered up. We also have some little bubble blowers over here. Do with that with you will if you have base metal mod. <laughs> um, giving you some ideas. And then over here also is the little karaoke section. So I can just, you know, imagine my Sims sitting over here, you know, um, having fun, having a date night, whatever. It's just a really chill place. And I think it's such a cute location in general like i just want to take my sims here like right now and just like have them hang out here like have a little karaoke night with their friends it's just so cute i love it also just a really minor thing that i noticed but i saw that she used the same pink trees that are out here in the surrounding world so again i like that little minor detail that she picked up on so yeah i just love her building skills she's such a good builder i am totally obsessed with this lot it is so freaking good look at this like all the decorations on the outside i love the parking lot out here it's just such a vibe you guys like it's so good so let's go ahead and go inside and i'll show you what it looks like so of course we have our bowling lanes over here which looks so cool pretty trippy with the lighting then if we come back over here we have some music and like a little bar over here and also some um so yeah this spot is so good for like a little date night even going out with the family as well if you wanted to you know i can see this as like a teen hangout if you wanted to be one just i love this lot it's so good chef's kiss this is the oasis community center so it's a rec center and i just love it i can't wait to show you guys really quick what it looks like look how beautiful this lot is you guys over here we have a basketball court section a place where you can sell some goods kind of like a little farmer's market stall then over here we have some horseshoes so you can play some horseshoe with your family or friends the kiddos can play too and then over here we have some grills or you could even bring the picnic table if you guys wanted to so yeah, I just already love what's going on outside. Then back over here is more for the kids so they can swing, they can go on the little monkey bars, also play on the, like, the little playground set. And then if we go inside is where my favorite section is. We have these big telescopes, but you can always change them to the newer ones that we got with the base game update. Keep in mind there are three floors in this lot. So we have like a little eatery in here and there's also a kitchen so your Sims can cook. I kind of imagine this place could be maybe for like I don't know, like family events kind of thing, maybe even like a family reunion or something. Did you guys ever have family reunions? I did growing up. <laughs> and then over here is like the kids' room. So we have some building blocks. Um, you know, we had the painting, we had the bear toys. Like, so yeah, like everything that you need for kids is like in that section over there. And there's also another one too. This is more for like toddlers. So over here is like for the art lovers. And there's also some chess over here. There's even a photography section. So if your Sims want to come here and get like family pictures done or whatever. There's also a yoga room too. And then over here is like a little media room. So your Sims can come over here and get on the computer if they want to. And then upstairs is where like all the fun is. So there is a little fitness section over here. And then some gardening too. There's also four little arcade machines and then also there's like other things where your sims can like stand on them and like play and have fun um i don't even know what you call those things but those things okay it's called a motion sensor that's what these things are called <laughs> and then over here in this really pretty room with this pretty lighting we do have these flower arranging tables and then also the woodworking one so again like there's so much to do in here and that's what i love about this a lot is like there's just everything for everybody you know so Highly suggest coming to this lot if you guys do download the save file. It's one of my favorites. I wanted to show you guys this super cute restaurant as well. It is coastal theme. It's in San Sequoia and it is so adorable. I just love it so much. I just love the vibe of this restaurant. It feels like something you would probably see in real life. So when you first go in, you just have this little seating area. It's really simple and just really nice. And the back here is where the like little chef stations would be where the little kitchen is and there's some outdoor seating too and what i love about it is the fact that it's like right off here like right off of like 
this little water area so you can kind of just feel like your sims are just kind of eating right on the water it's just so cute i love it anyways guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you guys checking out the sea file with me and hanging out and i hope you guys have an amazing day and comment down below if you are excited to check out the save file also if my replies are a little bit slow i'll do my best but i'm going out of town so i'm filming this video i try to get this up for you guys scheduled out so yeah um let me know what you guys think